Hey, good evening. Um, it is 9.45 this fine Sunday evening. Sorry um, it took me so long to get week four put up, but um, I wanted to give you an update on what the purpose for this week is. <clears throat> As you read Baumgartner, you're going to understand how a research proposal is put together. In this class, we're going to learn how to do a synthesis proposal. So the PowerPoint highlights those differences in what the book says is best practices for a research proposal versus what we do at Brockport for a synthesis proposal. So I need you to understand that there's two different ways to do this. Now if you choose to do a, a thesis, then what will happen is um, <clears throat> you'll actually follow what Baumgartner says and um, you'll need to then um, go really take that prospectus idea that you're going to be creating um, this semester and and that's going to be something that you're going to want to use when you put together your committee. Um, that's if you choose to do a thesis. Now you're going to write a prospectus for me for your synthesis just so I can clearly see what your topic is going to be this semester. A number of you um, were unsure and you didn't know um, what you wanted to study and examine and so now hopefully by week four you have that idea. So um, what I did this week is I, I uh, in, in the PowerPoint there's three parts to it. The first part is all about Baumgartner and the, the, the proposal process. The second part, um, I, I got a desk copy of this book called The Literature Review, um, Six Steps to Success. And um, I love how it broke down the um, how to select a topic. Now the cool thing is I, I posted a PowerPoint that um, has information. If you're still unclear on how to select a topic, this is the week to finalize that. So go through those steps and really um, use the little tasks and the activities that, that the PowerPoint outlines and the notes outline in the PowerPoint. And, and refine your topic. Um, the third part of the, propo of, of the PowerPoint outlines what your actual synthesis project is going to look like. Um, and so I've, I've added the suggested time, uh, page limits uh, for each section um, with little hints on where you're going to be learning that information throughout the semester. Um, Finally, your assignment for the week is to write a one-page proposal um, or a synthesis prospectus. Now, this is not your uh, proposal. This is simply a, a prospectus on this is what I want to study for the semester. Um, if this was a thesis, basically you would write up a page. Um, if you're a really good student and you don't want to piss off people and waste their time, you would write up a page um, that outlines what your problem is because you've got to be able to answer your problem, answer what your study is within two or three tight sentences. Um, you know, some, especially for those who, who might want to go on to do a PhD, um, doctoral advisors are not going to want to sit there within, for an hour hashing out that topic with you. And so they're going to expect you to have that. Now, at this level, at the master's level, um, you're still learning and so, you know, your advisors are going to work with you um, on, on nailing down what your um, proposal is going to look like or what your topic is going to look like. But you still have to gather committee members. Um, and I know for myself, um, if a student comes to me and they ask, um, to, uh, ask me to be on their committee, I'm going to want them to be able to articulate what they have and I want them to have thought about the methodology on how they were going to examine that project because you want to graduate, you want to get done and you want to move on and, and not think about this for the rest of your life. So um, the more work you can do up front, the better you're going to be um, as you go through the program. Um, my mantra is work smarter, not harder. And, and that's something that, that I, I learned when I was doing my PhD because I, I was a single mom. I, I worked three jobs. I coached two sports. I, I supervised a kitchen in a county jail uh, from Friday to Sunday for 32 hours just so I could get my health insurance. 
and I taught classes at the university while taking a full load at night and working on my dissertation. Now, if that doesn't make you really focus on time management, I don't know what will. And I know j many of you are just as busy with other things um, in your life. So um, if this is your first time in grad school, you really need to nail that um, time management piece. So um, hopefully uh, from here on out, we'll have no more glitches with drop boxes. If you take a look, I th I'm pretty sure I got all of them set up um, with the exception of the discussion boards, which show up in your um, weekly folders. Um, and so from here on out, it's, it's just simply me revising the assignments and, and uh, getting them in the Dropbox for you guys on time so that you can really get moving on your work. So um, I hope you guys have a great week and um, I'll see you online.